All right, so we're going to continue on with the BMI calculator. And we have this set up now where we have two input fields and a calculate button. And in our main code, uh, we got as far as showing you where the log file was. And every time I press the button, it printed out to the log, which is under this Android button here. All right, so that's as far as we got. So let's look at now if they actually do something with those values, then we need to we need to actually do the calculation here instead of just logging it, right? So let's uh, let's do the calculations. So the first thing we need to do is retrieve the data from those fields. We need to get the data from our uh, weight input and our height input fields. So uh, let's create some new values here. We'll call them uh, double. So we have a double pounds. And we'll create them as zero to start with. We'll initialize them to zero and then height. Actually, let's call this weight. Weight and height, all right? So to get those values, we can query that text resource, that edit text resource, and which is stored in what variable? Remember, we associated it and created our own instance variable or private variable inside of our class by referencing the resource that is an edit text. So our weight input resource, which was in our XML file. So this is called the uh, weight input. We named our edit text weight input and height input. All right, so all we have to do is to store that value by calling this uh, pounds in dot get text dot to string. All right, now uh, it should be weight in, right? Yeah, mine on my other computer is weight in. That's why it was red. Now, to convert it to a double, we have to convert it. We have to parse it. So we do a double dot parse double, not anymore. <laughs> so we're going to parse this value that we get from the, from the uh, edit text box. We're going to parse it into a double and store it in our weight variable. So we're going to do the same for our height. So we can just call this height. And instead of weight in, it's going to be height in, right? All right, so now I have two values, my weight and my height, and my BMI calculation is to create, uh, so let's create a new variable called BMI, and the calculation is just uh, weight divided by height squared which is just height times height. And then that whole quantity multiplied by 703 as a double. All right, that does the calculation from weight and height back into a, a body mass index. All right? And now we need a place to put that, right? So we have a BMI. Let's just uh, log it out and print it to our debug. And we call it my activity. And the result of this, how do we convert a BMI into a string now? Well, we can call the string.format method, which is pretty useful. And this is the same as it is in Ruby and C and C sharp uh, or C++ anyway, uh, we do a percent 
uh, .2f, that's the same format as in Ruby. Two decimal points after the, after the uh, decimal point, two digits after the decimal point, and the, the value that I want to convert is a float or a, or a double here. All right, so that will print out the uh, that will print out the activity to the log file uh, whenever we hit the calculate button. So let's just see how that works for now. Run. And let's open up our Android log. We did it to the debug, so we want to look at the log level debug. And the filter is called my activity. So that's all we want to see. And we're going to type in uh, 80. Delete all of this edit text. <laughs> Very slow. Wow. Come on. And our weight is maybe 180. And so we hit calculate. And it prints that value. The index is now 19.77. So that gives me their index. All right, everybody with me so far? We got the values from these two text boxes. We hit calculate, which calls, which we associated. How, would, how did it know to cal call my calculate BMI method here? Do you remember how we did that? No, we took all that out. Remember, this was the long way of doing it. We did the on-click method inside of the Android um, uh, main resource file. So we click on the button. We come down here for the on-click, and we type in the value of the method that we want to call when that is clicked. So that, that makes it easier to deal with. All right, so it's logging out fine. Let's uh, now store that data and put it into another field on my page. So I need to put that somewhere. So we need a, a place to modify. And we will call it, uh, what do we want? I'm going to call it BMI out. Seems really short here. So. We will uh, we'll create a new text view. We'll put this in the center. And we'll just replace this with 0. And we'll call the ID BMI out. That's where we're going to store the new data. And we can make it bigger, of course. The text size, we can make uh, maybe 20 device pixels a little bigger. So that looks a little bigger. All right, so now we have a new text field called BMI out. So we can, we can store, we can modify that text field on the screen programmatically. Uh, First of all, we need to create a pointer to it. So let's create a new private uh, text. Uh, sorry, it is a, what type is the field? It's a text view. So we want to create a variable to hold that text view. So it will be text view type. And that's not included in my widget, so I hit Alt to enter. And it includes that new text view widget. It imports that package for me. And we'll call it BMI out. Then in my initialize, I need to go and retrieve that 
uh, value from the resource file. So I say I want this to be a text view type. We're going to say use this find view by r id r dot id dot vmi out. Right. So that's the setup so that I don't have to do that again. These are all stored and calculated when the app is initialized. And then I go and uh, I just have to set that value. I have to re-change that value programmatically. So I can say BMI out, that's the pointer to the text view. And I can say there's a method called set text. Isn't that convenient? And the value that I want to set would be this value, a string, right? So let's, uh, let's store that in a string. Just so I have it. And then we'll print that to the log file. Just to show that we can. And then in our text, we're going to say, uh, set the text of the, uh, the result is a string I want to set for this BMI out text view. And then we have to pass this, the type of this uh, buffer type uh, as normal, all right? Buffer type normal, that tells it what uh, type of data is going to be sent to this screen. All right, so let's see if that works. Okay, it refreshes, re-uploads the new app. And I've got my BMI here. I hit calculate. And I get a crash. Look at that. Isn't that useful? Unfortunately, it has stopped. So in our Android uh, log file here, we can look back and see the error that happened, okay? So there was a problem when we did this on click. It said, could not execute method of the activity, all right? Not very useful information. But the, uh, it crashed when I clicked the button. And this shows you the stack backwards uh, all the way to the, to the back. So this is... Uh, Ah, maybe. So let's go and, and run it again. Let's see if that's the case. Uh, new text, right? So it doesn't know how to do this. Well, you don't put text in there. That would be the best idea. Uh, so let's put in uh, my height of 80 inches, my text. Let's, we'll do that next time. We'll take the text out because that's a pain. And we'll call this 160 pounds. We hit calculate, and there we go. So you were right, Andy. Very good. So I get a, a BMI of 17.58. To do it automatically when you click on it, that's a Google question. I don't know. I haven't seen that yet. There, there probably is something like that. So let's go, let's go fix that so that we don't have to deal with any errors and the text. Let's take the text out. Right, and so we don't have any text to deal with. And then we can set the property of these values, of these ed edit boxes, if we look at the, where was it, the input, input type for each text box. We can tell it that we only want a number decimal, all right? We'll only take a number decimal for that. 
And this one will take only a numbered decimal as well. So that should eliminate people from being able to type uh, text, you know, uh, words or letters into that text box. And, really that that and you don't have to do a try catch, right? Exactly. What was that? Really sure. 69 and a half inches, sure. Some people, that extra half inch makes a big difference. <laughs> All right? Those people are five, but... <laughs> yeah, the, the young people really uh, have that problem. All right, any questions on what we did so far? We basically added a new field that we could edit programmatically. We uh, initialized it in our initialize method so that we got a pointer to our, our text view that we're going to modify later on. And once we calculate the value, we set the text of that text view in place. All right? Any questions on that? No? Nope. All right, so what I want you to do is to add another field to this at the bottom and I, I want it to, to show something that tells them what that index means. So, uh, for instance, if they have a body mass index of 17, then they are considered underweight. So I want you to put the word underweight. If they're uh, 30, then they're going to be seriously overweight. So you're going to put a word down here that describes what that index means. And I'll give you the values. So less than 16 is going to be seriously underweight. And 16 to 18 is going to be just underweight. And 19 to 24 is going to be normal weight. And oops. And 25 to 29 is going to be overweight. And 30 to 35 is going to be seriously overweight. And greater than 35 is going to be gravely overweight. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. But we have to calculate now, based on this BMI that I got, where they fall in this range, and then use the same type of a text, uh, set text on a new field to print out that result, this string. All right? Any questions on that? Go. Do it. This stuff. All right, so let's... Uh, Let's work on this. It shouldn't take too long to do. First of all, we need to have a place to put the status. So in our main uh, configuration screen here, let's add a new text uh, view. And we'll say fill parent. No, I want it to be centered. And we will call it, uh, we'll put normal in here to start with. So that's like a default value. And then I'm going to call this BMI status as my ID. And let's make it big, uh, text size, text size of about 30 device pixels. Nice and big, all right? So now we have a place. It's called BMI status, so we need to create a place to hold the pointer. So we put all these together. It's going to be a private text view, BMI status. We need to save the pointer from, by getting the resource from the resource file. So it's BMI status equals what type is it? It's a text view. And we do the find view by our ID from the resources. Uh, the ID that we want is BMI status. All right, so now I have a place to get that value. That is now pointing basically to this object. 
that was created by the Android system. So BMI status is a text view object that I can do text view stuff with, yes? So we already calculated our BMI as a double, so we need to just do a bunch of if statements. So I could say something like uh, if uh, BMI is less than 16.0, since BMI is a double, we need to compare it with a double. Then we need to do something like, uh, I'm gonna store this in a text, in a string, so that I can do away with a bunch of code. So let me create my, my string to store my status in. And then I can just do a bunch of else ifs. Uh, BMI is greater than greater than or equal to 16.0 and BMI is less than 18.0 then I want to set my status to underweight. Else if, if, what? I can go any way I want. I'm in charge of my program. What do you mean? You still have to cover it. Yeah, My Android app is going to be worldwide, man. <laughs> uh, e skinny little Ethiopians are going to be wanting this calculator yeah. to know where they're at, right? So, and this is going to be less than 24.0, then my status equals uh, normal, and we're out of time, so we'll just, uh, you get the idea, let's just set the status uh, big fatty, right, whatever. So we'll do, uh, we'll do, now that we have the status, I need to set that in the uh, text view by calling the set text status. All right, and that will work. You don't have to have that. That's an it's another constructor by default. That will be the normal default. So let's run this guy. Come on, baby. Uh, so you're six inches tall and you weigh 180 pounds. You're going to be a big fatty, right? If you're 600 inches and you're 180 inches tall, you're going to be seriously underweight. All right? So isn't that cool? All right. Any questions on that? No, you're all leaving. Goodbye.